Welcome back to the Forensic Detailing Channel. So over a week ago, we applied a ceramic coating to this panel. Applied it on top of just where we polished and just whacked the coating straight on top of the polish. Here, we put the, we polished, we used the panel wipe and then put the coating on. Here, we used the polish, then used hot water and dish soap, wiped off panel wipe. Here, we did all of this, but then polished it with a ceramic primer polish to put a layer of primer down. Okay, and the panel, it's got all this dirt from this tree on it. And I just want to show after a week, after one week, if there's any difference in the behavior of the ceramic coating, because that'd be useful as well. So it should be up to a full cure now. So in this little tub, I've just got a squirt of Gion Bay, you know, which is a shampoo and a microfiber. We'll just use that to clean off the panel so we can see what's going on. So we just imagine, it comes off pretty easy, doesn't it, when you've got the coating on there. You can see the channels down there where the tape was and there's no coating. Interested to see, yeah, even that breaks off like quite easily and just gently. You can see where there's no coating so when i wipe over it, you get the film you can see here you, it kind of repels so you can see some repellency just interested to see if there's any difference i think i can see a bit slightly better performance where the primer is actually slight that seems a little bit less repellent same with the panel wipe oh it's, oh no, it's hard to tell actually hard to tell let's just put some water on this it's gone wide zoom it's raining out here let's just have a look so you can see no coating there on the edge nothing going on just fill the water polish section seems to be behaving that is so interesting man. really interesting that is look at that so you can see where I panel wiped the coaching book behavior is actually different it's reasonably repellent there Jesus there's a big difference actually didn't expect this so you can see that that the panel wipe section is a lot flatter and that section's all right, but the primer section it seems to really be buzzing. I didn't expect this polish section to be so buzzy. That's bizarre. That's bizarre. Let me just go inside. Did not expect that, but. That is just initial hydrophobicity. That's initial, oh, it's a little ball of fluff. That's initial hydrophobicity. So, but it looks like the section where I applied the coating straight on top of the polish after a buff is buzzing. <laughs> buzzing means more beady than applying straight, well, I didn't apply straight on top of the panel wipe. The panel wipe had plenty, you know, dry buff and plenty of time after that to vaporize away on a nice warm day. Um, but that panel wipe section isn't as beady for some reason. Then the section where I've washed it um, with water and dish soap and, you know, wetted that out off and wiped it. So there shouldn't really be any surfactant there. And then panel wiped it afterwards. That is the next worst. 
Then after that, the one where I've gone straight on, coated straight on top of a polish without panel wiping, just buffing the polish off. Seems to be doing really well. But the best one, by a long way, seems to be the primer. So that's after coating. So it's really interesting that. Need to have a little think about why, because the coating was applied with the same methods. So the only thing that's different was the prep. So the only thing that's different was the prep. So at the moment, it's interesting what we're seeing might not represent durability. It might just re represent hydrophobicity. So maybe on the polish section, the coating still went down, still cured, but maybe the bond isn't good to the panel. So maybe long term, that will fade quicker than the quicker than the um, panel wiped or washed and panel wiped section. But my experience of testing these doesn't tend to work like that. So I'm really interested to see what, what happens over the next six months. Well, that's very strange, but that also does look like the primer product does have some advantages where I just seem to have got a really good bond with the primer product. Um, very interesting stuff this is. Very interesting. Almost tempted to repeat the test as well. But, well, there's nothing, there's nothing there that seemed valid. But that just really surprised me. I thought the polish section I'd get a rubbish bond because it's all greasy and the coating would probably, because it's only a micron, Thick. If it, if it didn't bomb properly, it would come off. But maybe it will. Maybe it will come off quicker later on. Um, yes, there we go. Let me know your thoughts on this. What do you think? I mean, I'm staring at them out there. Staring at them. Polish, panel wipe, washed, dish soap, then panel wiped. Primer, Gion Primer. Very interesting test. <laughs> maybe. If you're into detailing, it is. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts on this test and what you think is going to be happening. Um, what's going on with this car at the moment? I think I've fixed the reversing sensors. Love this little Betsy. It's a black beauty. Um, I've got um, an issue. I think I need to get the air oil separator fixed on this car. It's going in to get checked out. Um, it's just using a little bit too much oil, but it's not, um, it's not head gasket. It's not bore scoring. So the next thing I think is air oil separator. Um, so that's going to be replaced and hopefully that will cure the problem. Um, it still runs great, no smoke or anything, but just uses a little bit too much oil, um, which would fit that symptom actually. Uh, so yeah, that's going in to have a look at, to get looked at. I haven't driven it for ages, really missing this car. Where's my wide zoom? Oh, not that wide, John. Yeah, yeah, really missing. I want to give this a blast. It's got the auto, it's got the auto glim tire dressing on it, which really looks good actually. It's really good tire dressing, like so I should use it more. Just like the old silicon, but it just does a good job. Uh, so, yeah, interesting to see how this one goes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We do, this is a really informal thing that might be of interest to people that are into detailing and prepping cars and putting coatings on them all the time that have thoughts on all of this and it might sound like a load of old nonsense if you're not that much into detailing but it's these little things that i find really interesting and i like exploring on the channel because then i know how to do it properly um and i know how to do it best and you hear all these different things about oh you do it this way you gotta do it that way and different ways from different manufacturers and stuff like that but ultimately when you do little tests like this this sort of stuff really, when I see it with my own eyes, it really informs my own opinion. And that's the only way sometimes to find out is just test things for yourself. Um, but at the moment, it's looking like if you're going to use a ceramic, then a primer polish, maybe not the GL one, you know, it might be whatever one you're using. Um, but a primer polish, and I suppose you've got to test all those other ones as well, seems to really give you a good initial performance hydrophobic wise, which is what a lot of people want. Uh, I didn't think it would make that much difference to be honest, but I'm very surprised with that. 
Yeah, and the advantage, really, the advantage of this, I, in my head at least, was less about performance and less about durability. Because I didn't, in my head, I didn't think it was going to make much difference, but maybe it does. It was just about the convenience of being able to polish and finish out the paint without having to degrease. So you could, you know, skim over it, use it like a finishing polish, really finish out the paint, buff off all the residue, and then just leave it alone, and then come back the next day and, and coat it. And that's, if that gives you the best performance and you don't have to go around and panel wipe it all down again because then you risk maybe, you know, you might scratch it or whatever, it probably, probably won't, but you know what I mean. But it's also, you go around the car buffing on things so many times when you have to detail a car. It's like the less of that you can do, the quicker it is almost, or the less work's involved. But if you also get better results with less work, <laughs> that's massive, that's important. So yeah, this is quite an interesting video actually. So will long term this give me a better bond than just finishing out with say a pure abrasive like M2 or just single staging with the S20? Um, but you know, even if you single stage with that, you wouldn't want to then go over with the primer really, unless you do it very, well you could do. You could do, couldn't you? If you could just go very quickly with the primer on there and buff it, and then come back the next day, leave it overnight, come back the next day, and away you go. And that might be the best way to get the best results. I, yeah, surprised. Um, we used S20, was the polish that we actually used on that panel. Um, you know, first, the whole panel was s 20 and then all those steps would prep steps were done, and that little quarter was primed afterwards. But it had a wash and panel wipe before it was primed. So we, we follow the right approach. Very interesting. Okay, guys, see you soon.